Good morning, everyone. Saturday, the 4th of April, another day of lockdown. Here in Polokwane, it's a very much an autumn kind of day. It's cold and drizzly. One certainly cannot go and sit outside. You'd get rather wet. Today, I also took the opportunity, the first time since the lockdown began, to go shopping. I went out to purchase some essential goods. And it was interesting, very, very few people on the roads, very few people in the shops. I purposely went down early at nine o'clock when shops opened to try and avoid any crowds of folk that might well come shopping later. It was quiet, it was deserted, not many people around, most of them wearing face masks. Many would greet you. Others would just look at you and just as quickly avert their eyes, almost as if they were scared that talking to someone could spread the virus, even looking at someone could spread the virus. The mood of this cold, drizzly day seemed to be reflected in the way people conveyed themselves in and around the shopping center. And it occurred to me that perhaps we are all of us feeling to some extent tired, and concerned and anxious, not knowing what is going on. And in the reading this morning, Paul, in his second letter to the Corinthian church, chapter 4, verses 16 to 18, speaks about his own experience. It's not to do with a pandemic sweeping the world. For his experience, it was sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. And I must pause and ask you, Do you know Jesus Christ? Have you discovered the good news of who Jesus is? But nevertheless, Paul is writing about how difficult it is for him to spread this message. And he gives these words, and I read then 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verses 16 to 18, the second lesson of today's morning prayer. Therefore, we do not lose heart, though outwardly we are wasting away. Yet inwardly we are being renewed day by day. For our light and momentary troubles are achieving for us an eternal glory that far outweighs them all. So we fix our eyes not on what is seen, but what is unseen. For what is seen is temporary, but what is unseen is eternal. Dear friends, the troubles we experience now the rather cold and drizzly mood that we may find ourselves in. These are temporary things, for our Lord is way far above whatever troubles we experience. So turn to him, commit your life to him. If you are already a committed Christian, ask him what is it that he wishes you to do. Take this opportunity from this pandemic. And it's also Lent where we are encouraged to do this anyway. Ask God, repent before God. What is it that God would want you to change in your life? And so have a blessed day, have a blessed relationship and a growing, ever deepening relationship with our Lord. Lots of love. Bye-bye.